Hello everybody. Uh, I'd like to make a, a video to explain how the silk paper works. Um, these paintings are done in Rob Shiro's uh, master's study class recently uh, after Hopper and today after uh, Morris, I forgot his last name. Um, the the uh, uh, difference uh, between these two is I did this one um, before mounting, so it got some uh, uh, waves or uh, unevenness. I uh, then uh, mounted it on the uh, backing paper with the silicone film to make it flat. Uh, today I tried a different approach. So this is what I would re recommend. You mount the paper first, the silk paper first. Silk paper comes in a roll, like this very thin. So when it's got uh, wet, uh, it's uh, warples. So you need to stiffen it, uh, stretch it. But we don't, uh, if you stretch it normally, it won't work. So you have to mount it. And this is how we do it. I use a piece of uh, silicone paper, put on top of a uh, drawing paper. I just use a cheap drawing paper. Not really cheap, but uh, uh, any drawing paper would do. I just do this. So you activate the silicone film. It's a heat adhesive, heat sensitive adhesive. Okay, there's a release paper. It's very uh, important to keep that. So you put the silk on top of this, facing up. Uh, my silicone may be a little bit small, but it's okay. As long as it stays flat, right? So put this release paper back on top to protect it from uh, dust or dirt of your iron. Also, it's an anti-stick paper. So if there's an exposure of a silicone film, you won't stick on, on it. If you use a regular uh, newsprint, it might got stick. So this is uh, you can use uh, parchment pa paper the, for backing paper uh, for bay oven oven paper. Okay, and this is ready to to paint. I'm going to send uh, uh, my teacher a piece of this to see how he likes it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.